Work from home to school with big plans by day. Study the history of you. And as they gear up for this challenge on the road, a look at the Cavs team bus getting to the arena. It's all business for these guys tonight. Greetings, folks. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for our latest presentation of NBA basketball. With two Hall of Famers, Doris Burke and Grant Hill, I'm Brian Anderson, Allie LaForce, our reporter. And while we have a second, let's take a quick peek at the rebounding numbers for Kevin Love. Unfortunately, we've seen his ability as a rebounder take a back seat these past few seasons. And I'd like to see him refocus on that element of his game. You can never have enough rebounds, in my opinion. Just about ready to get this one started. First, let's hear from Ali LaForce. Ali. Well, guys, Miles Turner is one of the game's premier rim protectors. He said, quote, I change games. I'm able to push my team, and they know that when I'm back there, it makes it easier for everybody. I want to show the league what everybody in Indy has known for years, that I'm a defensive anchor, and I take pride in that. Well, he is a presence, Allie, no question. Thank you. Doris, I'm sure everyone is looking forward to All-Star Weekend, a chance to celebrate the league's top talents and show off for the fans. It's always one of the most watched weekends in the NBA schedule. One of my favorites personally is the Skills Challenge. And the reason I say that, B.A., is you are not seeing just guards enter that competition. The bigs are so skilled now that they can keep up. It is so fun to watch. Here are the five for the Cavaliers. The lengthy pair of Mobley and Allen are together inside. Donovan Mitchell out there with Darius Garland. And it's Okoro in at the small forward position. And for Indiana, Halliburton at point next to Dorte. They're the backcourt. Miles Turner out there with Neesmith. And it's healed in at the small forward position. Garland for three. That one's good. Mitchell making the play. Well, this one of the most coveted shots. The corner three and Darius Garland is good from distance. The teardrop, and Halliburton lays it in. Boy, that's a beautiful touch on the floater. And let's remember, not everyone has that shot in their arsenal. Allen with a screen on Halliburton. Garland, the pass to Allen. Back to Garland. Oh, ripped away! Halliburton with the ball. He's picked up by Garland. Pass to Duarte. Puts up a three. That one, no good. First quarter, just over a minute play. Guys, you think about the Indiana Pacers, a team that has had several coaching changes of late, and obviously that kind of inconsistency has no doubt played a part in their recent struggles. Allen with a screen on Halliburton. Just five on the clock. The three from Okoro. They get it back. Outside for Mitchell. The three. The shot off that time. Indiana on offense. They put up a nice win against Sacramento last time out. And in that game, it wasn't just the starters who played a big part. They got a ton of points off the bench. When you get that kind of a complete effort, that's a game you're going to win far more often than not. Here's Mitchell following the bucket by the Pacers. Allen a screen. Mitchell with the ball. Turner covering. And it's Allen who slams it home. Well, that's a beautiful pass by Donovan Mitchell to a ready shooter, and his focus as a distributor has really improved. While well, the Pacers hired Rick Carlisle as their coach for the second time, by the way, in the summer of 2021. That's exactly right, B.A. Remember, Coach Carlisle was quite successful here between 2003 and 2007. Then he moved on to be the head coach of the Dallas Mavericks for 13 years. Obviously a championship coach that one year with Dirk Nowitzki. I think the Pacers optimistic Coach Carlisle can help speed up this rebuild. Now here's Mitchell. He's given them steady production at over 27 points a game. Garland for three. And the rebound goes to the Pacers. Here's Neesmith. The rebound by Allen. Allen's got four rebounds now. Pass to Mobley. Okoro on the wing. Back to Mitchell. Mobley on a screen. Mitchell against Turner. And it's Mitchell. The miss. Got to credit the defense. They found a way to stop him, and that's never an easy task. 
Takes a step back. Halliburton, the pass to Heald. That's good. And Halliburton gets the assist. Boy, how about the release? I mean, no sooner does that ball hit his hands than he rises and fires. Buddy Heald doing what he's paid for. Now here's Garland. Turned in an outstanding game against Memphis. Allen with a screen on Halliburton. Garland finds Allen. And it's Allen who slams it home. That's what we call a power finish. There's no such thing as gentle for the big man. Time called here. The Pacers decide to talk it over. Their last meeting was in this building. They were able to come out on top. And in the last meeting, they definitely had the upper hand at the charity strike. And the Cavaliers going with a whole new group out there. Pass to McConnell. Here's Matherin. Shot clock at six. Driving inside. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. Yeah, this is Matherin at his best. Driving hard to the cup and finishing in style. In addition to affecting the game at both ends, Matherin has already proven to be a tremendous leader. Oh, yes, he has, B.A. He's a high intangibles guy, a hard worker, really leads by example, and he's clutch. He elevates his play in big-time situations. So you think back to a big part of LeBron returning to the Cavs in 2014. That trade sending Kevin Love to Cleveland Forming a big three when you throw in Kyrie Irving. Jackson, he's checked in for Turner. You can tell when he steps to the line the kind of confidence he has in himself. It's written all over his body language. Pass to Jackson. Tipped. Well, Kevin Love, such a smart defender. Send it back. Cleveland has gone one of four from deep. Outside Rubio. 11 left in the first quarter. Here's Stevens. Love inside. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. Love came to Cleveland as a major piece of a title puzzle to us. Then think about it. The injury of Kevin Love changed the entire complexion of the 2015 playoffs. The Cavs were shorthanded in the finals. A healthy Kevin Love was a monumental piece in the 16 finals. That got Cleveland their first ever NBA title. What a story that was. Now here's Rubio. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first point of the game. Bird, right side. Shot from the top of the key. Misses off the left iron. For Indiana, they've gone 4 of 10 shooting the rock in this first quarter. McConnell. Rubio with some nice D. Boy, that's one he wishes he could have back, especially against soft defense. Love, a screen on McConnell. Outside Love. Let's it go from deep. No luck on that one. been an aspect of his game he's been criticized for but you have to love the defensive effort to challenge that shot by Kevin right there one quarter in the books and it's been a close one the Cavaliers on top they're up by two and we'll be back in just a minute with the start of the second quarter and it's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play and what stands out to you from the Cavaliers in this one the aggressiveness on defense has been infectious. Everyone's come to the party. I love it. Well, I think they combined great intelligence with great effort, and you can see the results. All right, on the floor for Cleveland, getting going in the second. The lengthy pair of Mobley and Allen are together inside. Darius Garland is out there with Donovan Mitchell, and it's Levert in at the three spot. Now that's called positioning, and Turner has the verticality to make it easy. Pass to Allen. Mitchell with the ball. The shake. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. And we know dead ball situations where some fans change the channel. Doris, has the league done enough to discourage intentional fouls? Every form of media to me, B.A., is trying to capture the imagination of their fans. So anything that enhances your product is something that in the long term is going to do well for you. 
Halliburton, the pass to Heald, over Levert, and it's Heald missing. Well, if the defense gives him that shot next time, they could get burned. I think he's just a little bit out of rhythm. Back to Levert. Outside for Mitchell. It's stolen by Halliburton. Oh, and a fast break for the Pacers. Healed for three. The rebound by Allen. The Cavaliers leading. Garland, the pass to Mitchell. And the basket's good. Off the assist from Garland. Mitchell's got four points now in the quarter. You can see Donovan Mitchell's shot mechanics from the time he entered the league to what we're seeing now. It's refined. It's on balance. And boy, does he make good. Garland against Halliburton. Outside Garland. Allen on the wing. Left side Mitchell. From about 19. With the clock winding down. And Mobley throws it down. That's how you give me a little grittiness from Evan Mobley. Not afraid of throwing his weight around right there. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Turner finds heel. To the left wing. Shots good by Mallory. Five points in the game. This guy a tough cover for any defender. Creative and assertive scoring the ball. Second quarter play. Almost three minutes gone here. Here's Mitchell. The rebound by Turner. For Indiana, they've gotten two of five shots to fall this second quarter. Heald with the ball. Now Levert defending. Pass to Turner. Here's Matherin. Indiana needs to get a shot off. Heal. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's going to be on Karis LeVert. This guy is so good at baiting defenders into the contact. Buddy Heal doing work offensively. The Pacers making a switch here. Duarte's checked in. Osman, he's checked in for the Cavs. Okoro comes in for Mitchell. Garland against Halliburton. Limhart, he's checked in for Halliburton. Love is checked in for the Cavs. Rubio comes in for Darius Garland. Here's Osman. And he banks in the layup. Osman's got his first two points of the night. What you love about this is there's an unselfish nature to Kevin Love's game, and I believe that's contagious. Here's Nimhart. Nine points for him in his last game. That's tipped. Now here's Heal. The D's right on him. Turner for three. The Cavaliers pull it in. This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the board. There's a screen by Love. The three. That one is off. So Indiana will take it the other way. Hey, every team wants a guy who can block shots, and they certainly want a guy who can hit threes. Miles Turner does both, Grant. Yes, he does, B.A. Miles has led the league in blocks multiple times. He also shot it well from the three-point range. He's just a unique skill set. It's really hard to find guys like Turner. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Wade's checked in. 136 left in the first half. McConnell with it. Now Rubio defending. McConnell against Rubio. Pass to Nimhart. Back to McConnell. Five on the clock. Here's Nimhart. Takes a three. And he's missed his first two shots of the game. Outside Rubio. And 101 left in the first half. From deep. And a 
another miss by Cleveland. Indiana trailing here. Down low. And he caught that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam. Well, not exactly one of those big, burly power forwards, right? He depends on his leaping ability more than those guys, and it serves him just fine. Pass to Okoro. Outside Rubio. With the drive. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Oh, that's a beautiful pump fake by Rubio. He'll be rewarded with a couple of free throws. And the first one at the line is good. Stevens is checked in for Cleveland. Both shots good from the strike. Yeah, they, they're really cashing in more at the line here in the second quarter. The Pacers have gotten only three of nine attempts to fall in the second. Here's Duarte. Looking for his first basket still in this one. No! They're unable to get the tying basket there. Out to the wing. Outside Rubio. This one for three. And a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half. The Cavaliers. Hello, everyone, and welcome. I know they've controlled the glass defensively. You want to hold your opponent to one shot. And on the other end, you're trying to create second chance points. Some wise words from rebounding specialist Kenneth Smith, ladies and gentlemen. And now, let's take a glance ahead at the games on the docket. Here's the upcoming schedule. The slate absolutely gets your attention. No easy games. But this could bring out the best of the team. It's a measuring stick on how far they've come and how far they have left to go. I expect them to come out looking to prove a point. And that's a wrap on halftime. Thanks for watching as we send you back to BA to call the second half. As we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard. And it's the Pacers with the ball. They trail by three. Halliburton at point next to Dorte. They're the backcourt. Neesmith out there with Miles Turner. And it's Heal in at the three slot. That's the five for the Pacers. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's going to be Evan Mobley. Well, the athleticism that Miles Turner brings to the center spot is quite remarkable. This guy, an exceptional player on both sides of the floor. And that's good as he hits both shots. This is what makes him a challenge to stop. He will beat you from the floor, and he can also beat you from the line. Outside Garland. Right side Mitchell. Wide open look. And he wills that one in, sinking it right through the back of the iron. Mitchell's got six. You've got to be shot ready on the catch. No hesitation from Donovan Mitchell makes the defense pay. Unable to get that one. Nice D from Allen. Halliburton against Garland. And for those tuning in, we're about a minute into this second half. Six to shoot. Allen with a screen on Halliburton. Garland with the ball. Turner covering. And it's Allen who slams it home. There's nothing like a big man with agility. Jared Allen operating well in the pick and roll right now. Well, the Pacers shooting an unimpressive 30% in this game so far. Turner passes to Heald. Out left to the wing. There's Neesmith with a three. The shot won't fall. The Cavaliers leading. And we're about a minute and a half in the second half. Now here's Mitchell, guarded closely. Mobley, rebounded by Halliburton. Now the Pacers with it. Pass to Neesmith. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. And he can't get the first one. So both teams making some changes here. But he sinks the second. 
The Cavaliers have got two of three from the floor in this third quarter. The ideal guard in today's NBA, Tyrese Halliburton, has length at 6'5". Now he can run the offense, plus Tyrese is an excellent three-point shooter. Garland, the pass to Mitchell. And the basket's good. Off the assist from Garland. Garland's got assist number five here tonight. Pass to Neesmith. Now healed. There's the triple. And once again, off the mark by Indiana. And with Halliburton, the stats show a complete guard, Grant. Yeah. I mean, think about this. 40% from deep. Halliburton's been top 10 in the league in assists. Defensively, just racking up steals. Tyrese can play the one through three. He does just about everything. Pass to Matherin. Got it. He's got seven. Well, their first basket in four tries. Can that trigger a little bit of good shooting here? We'll find out. Outside Garland. Clock keeps going. Three minutes into the second half now. Allen on the wing. And here's Mobley. Banked it in off the glass. Mobley's got six. Well, the defense has been lackluster out of the locker room, and that is why they are finding themselves in a tough spot. And down it goes. Two points. And I'll tell you, Matherin's passing game has a solid foundation. Now, hopefully, it continues to grow here. Levert outside. Pass to Mitchell. 13 feet out. Pacers with a rebound. Turner's got his fourth rebound in this one. I'll tell you, he's trying to help them extend this lead, but it's been a tough night for him individually. Healed against Mitchell. Heald drives in. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. Some changes for Indiana. Jackson, he's checked in for Turner. Brissett comes in for Neesmith. And it's Nimhart in for Halliburton. And a new group getting ready for the Cavaliers. Love is checked in for Jared Allen. Osman comes in for Evan Mobley. Stevens is checked in for Donovan Mitchell. And Rubio is subbed in for Garland. Pass to Rubio. Six on the shot clock. Here's Stevens. Here's Osman. No good from outside. Rubio with a steal. And there's a minute 45 left in the third quarter. Now Levert. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Oh, they get a hand on it. Clock at six. Here's Nimhart. To the middle. And the dunk by Jackson. And that's got to hurt. A turnover for a free run at the rim. And now we know who has the momentum. It's still close, though. These teams have been neck and neck. Let's see the response here. Heel to the ball. Now Levert defending. Here's the floater. Rubio with the rebound. For Cleveland, they've gotten five of eight shots to go in the third. Levert outside. Fifty seconds left in the third quarter. Another miss. They desperately need a bucket. A chance to go two for one. And you really must play this just right. And here's Heald. Give him eight. Matherin sinks it from distance. Ten points for him. He's getting it done offensively, making winning plays at every turn. We've got 33 seconds left in the third quarter. Here's Rubio, and he got the whistle on the way up, so he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Uh, going to the line will be Rubio. Just gets fouled on that sneaky drive. First free throw is good. McConnell, he's checked in for Indiana. And Cleveland with a change here, too. Okoro is checked in for Levert. Here's Indiana. They're on a 12-4 run. Pass to Matherin. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Inside. Outside for McConnell. It's stolen by Rubio. Love, a screen on McConnell. Outside Love. Takes the three. The shot no good. 
And we've just finished the third quarter. What a tight game we've got going. Cavaliers ahead, leading by a... And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm Assist of the Game. Talk about painting a magnificent picture with that die. Just a great decision and a perfect delivery. We call that putting it right in the pocket, and he knew what to do with it once it was there. We've reached the fourth quarter in what has been a very competitive game. Should be an exciting finish. On the court for the Cavaliers. Okoro at the three with Mobley at the four. Mitchell out there with Darius Garland. And it's Allen in at the five down low. Halliburton against Mobley. Pass to Neesmith. Down to five on the shot clock. Beyond the arc. Mobley grabs the board. Mobley's got four rebounds in the game. Garland, the pass to Mitchell. Mobley, a screen on Halliburton. Back to Mobley. And Mobley throws it down. That's just big-time playmaking ability from Donovan Mitchell. This guy working the defense to create a shot opportunity. Mitchell against Halliburton. The shot misses. Ooh, solid defense from Mitchell. Outside Garland. Back to Mitchell. The three from Okoro. That one's good. Mitchell making the play. Mitchell's got his fourth assist with that last one. And their offense has been much tighter since halftime. The guys are starting to work together, moving the ball around, getting good shots. Time called here. The Pacers decide to talk it over. The Pacers with the game two. Coming up in the court. Let's turn it up. And the Pacers making a change here. Heels checked in. And let's send it over to Allie LaForce. Hey, guys, during that last break, I heard Rick Carlisle as he talked with the team. He told his team, quote, we can do this. This is why we put in the work. This is the moment the work pays off. He's coaching them up for a victory. Thank you for that, Allie. From outside the arc, the Cavaliers pull it in. Mobley's got five rebounds tonight. Garland, the pass to Mitchell. Two minutes gone by here in the fourth. Mobley finds Mitchell. Allen a screen. The floater. From deep, Mobley. Second shot opportunity. Oh, it's blocked. It deflects off the backboard. Pass to Mitchell. Allen a screen from deep three-point range. The shot that time not on target. So Indiana will take it the other way. Now here's Turner. Back to Halliburton. Here's Heald. The three is up. Mobley grabs the board. Mobley's got six rebounds here tonight. Oh, love the intensity in which they're hitting the boards. Pass to Mitchell. Here's Allen. And it's Allen who slams it home. Well, so often we're talking about Jared Allen's length, and he does it nicely on the offensive glass right there. Halliburton outside. Here's Duarte. Turner, a screen on Mitchell. Pass to Turner. Halliburton with the ball. Guarded by Garland. Deal for three. Cavaliers with a rebound. Mobley's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. I'll tell you, this guy is doing absolutely everything he can to get himself going, but the team is struggling because he's struggling. And a chance for a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for the Cavaliers. Well, you love their unselfish play. Keeping that ball moving, good shot to great. That's winning basketball. I think the other thing we're seeing tonight is the floor spacing of this team. Boy, they are shooting the cover off the basketball all game. Great 
finish. What a setup. Terrific ball movement there. The Cavaliers have gotten just three of nine shots to go in. Struggling this fourth quarter. Pass to Allen. Garland against Halliburton. Outside Garland. Shot clock at six. Drives to the hoop. The incredible speed on Darius Garland's drive. I think just the defender off guard. Nice job earning a trip to the foul line. Good on the first. And that makes it a seven-point lead. And he hits both free throws here. And it's an eight-point ball game. Time called here. Indiana decides to talk it over. They're behind by eight. There's a minute 54 left in the fourth quarter. There's a minute 54 left to play in the fourth. Now here's Heal. He's covered closely. To the paint. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. He'll pin that one on Jared Allen. Well, you love how Miles Turner gets into space in the paint. Makes it really hard for the defender not to lean in and get some contact against Turner. And so Turner nails them both. Those are big free throws. Now they need some defensive stops. Outside Garland. Mobley outside. On the wing, Mitchell. Shot clock at five. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. It can be an overlooked aspect of his game, but Donovan Mitchell, excellent at getting to the free throw line. That's because of the pressure he can put on your defense. And he cannot get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. And the second of two is good. And that makes it a seven-point lead. The Pacers have got one out of six shots to fall in this final quarter. Not ideal. Heald for three. And the rebound goes to the Cavaliers. Pass to Mitchell. On the two. Oh, hey, how about that? How high was Donovan Mitchell? How pretty was that dunk? My goodness. Once again, an explosive highlight on the AT&T 5G slam cam. Heald passes to Halliburton. Misses the three. The Cavaliers have gone four for ten in the fourth. Allen with a screen on Halliburton. To the inside. That's good from Allen. On the assist by Garland. And now an 11-point Cleveland lead. Showing us that killer instinct right now. No letting the foot off the gas for them. And you want to save your best for last. Tonight they've done that and then some. What a beautiful stroke from range. Defensively, you've got to try to take him out of his comfort zone. Okoro on the wing. Back to Garland. Allen with a screen on Halliburton. Garland, the pass to Allen. Can't cash it in from close range. And a comeback here looking very unlikely. Absolutely everything would have to go their way at this point. We all know he's a good shooter. But from that distance, uh, I don't think so. Boy, we're seeing it more and more. Guys looking to create additional space by stepping back further from the line. And just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score. You lock in on the moment and play the right way. And so it's the Cavaliers taking care of business in this one. It ends up being a fairly easy road win. Those are so hard to come by. It's never easy to take a game in someone else's building. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Doris Burke, Ali LaForce, and Grant Hill, and our entire crew, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for tuning in. Now it's time for the New Balance Player of the Game, Jared Allen.